MSBI, Microsoft Business Intelligence, is the powerful suite tool developed by Microsoft which offers best solutions for business intelligence and data mining queries. This tool uses Microsoft Visual Studio Data Tools plus SQL Server. It provides different processes for different tools for BI solutions. What is MSBI? MSBI stands for Microsoft Business Intelligence. This intense suite is made out of tools which help in giving best answers for business intelligence and data mining queries. This tool utilizes Visual Studio alongside SQL Server. It basically means the process of understanding the complex data work, allocating it, analyzing it and setting up a proper report that will help in business decisions. What is BI? BI stands for Business Intelligence, refers to set of techniques or tools which helps in searching, finding and analyzing best data or relevant info out of huge data for good business decision making. What are the important tools used in MSBI? SQL Server Analysis Services, SSAS SQL Server Integration Services, SSIS SQL Server Reporting Services, SSRS Performance Point Services, PPS What is SIS? SIS stands for SQL Server Analytical Services SIS Analyze Service, SIS Analyze from the Stored Data this analyzing process done with an online analytical process component and data mining capabilities. For analyze process it constructs multi-dimensional structures called cubes. What is SIS? SIS stands for SQL Server Integration Services. It is the data warehousing arm of the SQL Server 2008 R2 suite, equipped with superior extract, transform and load, ETL, capabilities. It provides the vehicle for moving data from different data sources to another and changing the data, if necessary. What is SSRS? SSRS stands for SQL Server Reporting Tool. SSRS is a reporting service, now represent analyzed data in a graphical way SSRS issued. SSRS generate reports, analyze data, plans, scorecards, dashboards. Excel etc. SSRS 2005 had two separate services. SSRS 2000 data is easier to configure, deploy and manage without losing any functionality. SSRS shares internal components with SQL Server. It enables better memory management capabilities. It has supports single instance, multi instance and scale out. What is PPS? PPS stands for Performance Point Services. It is a SharePoint Server 2013 service application. It enables users to create business intelligence, buy, dashboards that provide insight into an organization's performance. You can create custom reports, filters, tabular data sources, and scorecard transforms to extend the native functionality of performance point services. What is a data warehouse? Data warehouse is commonly used for reporting and business analysis purposes. This system is actually the output of integrated data from multiple sources and stored into a centralized repository. The data warehouse stores the current and historical data, so it is easy to generate trend reports, predictive analysis and comparison reports. It's very helpful for the top management to take the quick decisions about their business. What is a data mart? A data mart means that it's a small part of a data warehouse and indicates only a single part, for example sales or finance. It always holds more summarized information. What are the some advantages of MSBI? Easy data exploration and visualization. Managed self-service by tool. Full use of native Excel features. Dashboards and scorecards. MSBI support to web services. Complete end-to-end -end business solutions. MSBI supports data warehousing application. What are the transformations available in SIS? Aggregate, it applies aggregate functions to record sets to produce new output records from aggregated values. Audit, adds package and task level metadata, such as machine name, execution instance, package name, package ID, etc. Character map. 
performs SQL Server column level string operations such as changing data from lowercase to uppercase. Conditional split, separates available input into separate output pipelines based on Boolean expressions configured for each output. Copy column, add a copy of column to the output we can later transform the copy keeping the original for auditing. Data conversion, converge columns data types from one to another type. It stands for explicit column conversion. Data mining query, used to perform data mining query against analysis services and manage predictions graphs and controls. Derived column, create a new, computed, column from given expressions. Export column, used to export a image specific column from the database to a flat file. Fuzzy grouping, used for data cleansing by finding rows that are likely duplicates. Fuzzy cup, used for pattern matching and ranking based on fuzzy logic. Import column, reads image specific column from database onto a flat file. Lookup, performs the lookup, searching, of a given reference object set against a data source. It is used for exact matches only. Merge. Merges two sorted data sets into a single data set into a single data flow. Merge join merges two data sets into a single data set using a join junction. Multicast sends a copy of supplied data source onto multiple destinations. Rockend stores the resulting row count from the data flow transformation into a variable. Row sampling capture sample data by using a row count of the total rows in data flow specified by rows or percentage. Union now, merge multiple data sets into a single data set. Pivot used for normalization of data sources to reduce anomalies by converting rows into columns. Unpivot, used for denormalizing the data structure by converts columns into rows in case of building data warehouses. What is RS.X utility? R apostrophe S dot X utility is used for organizing the report on report server. It comes with the report server and can be modified accordingly. What are the different types of data sources in SSRS? SSRS use different data source. Some of them are listed below. OLED SQL Server SAP NetWeaver by Oracle Report Server Model SQL Server Analysis Service OLED ODBC SAP NetWeaver by Hyperion Teradata XML Can you explain control flow? A control flow consists of one or more tasks and containers that execute when the package runs. To control order or define the conditions for running the next task or container in the package control flow, we use precedence constraints to connect the tasks and containers in a package. A subset of tasks and containers can also be grouped and run repeatedly as a unit within the package control flow. SQL Server Integration Services SSIS, provides three different types of control flow elements, containers that provide structures and packages, tasks that provide functionality, and precedence constraints that connect the executables containers, and tasks into an ordered control flow. Can you explain data flow? Data flow consists of the sources and destinations that extract and load data, the transformations that modify and extend data, and the paths that link sources, transformations, and destinations The data flow task is the executable within the sys package that creates, orders, and runs the data flow. A separate instance of the data flow engine is opened for each data flow task in a package. Data sources, transformations, and data destinations are the three important categories in the data flow. Can you explain data set in report? Data set are the set of data which we want to show in report. Data creates on data source. Data source is the source of data from where we are receiving this data that is database server and database name joining string. Can you explain web service task in sys? First we configure HTTP connection manager which will point to WSDL of a web service. Web service task customs this HTTP connection manager and let us invoke methods in it. 
it returns values of method value we can store it in some variables and can use as input for some other tasks. Can you explain how does error handling work in Sys? When the data flow component applies a transformation to column data, extracts data from sources, or loads data into destinations, errors can occur. Errors frequently occur because of unexpected data values. Type of typical errors in Sys Data connection errors, this error occurs in case the connection manager cannot be initialized with a connection string. This applies to both data sources and data destinations along with control flows that use the connection strings. Data transformation errors, this error occurs while data is being transformed over a data pipeline from source to destination. Expression evaluation errors, this error occurs if expressions that are evaluated at runtime perform invalid. What are the important terms can be used in the reporting services? Report definition. A report definition contains information about the query and layout for the report. Report snapshot. A report snapshot is actually a report definition that contains a data set instead of query instructions. Rendered report, a fully processed report that contains both data and layout information, in a format suitable for viewing, such as HTML. Parameterized report, a published report that accepts input values through parameters. Shared data source, a predefined, standalone item that contains data source connection information. Shared schedule, it is a predefined, standalone item that covers schedule information. Report specific data source, data source information which is defined within a report definition. Report model, a semantic description of business data, used for AC Hawk reports created in Report Builder. Linked report, it is a report that derives its definition through a link to another report. Can you define cache in SSRS? Report server can lay up a copy of processed report in a memory and return the copy when a user opens the report. This server memory is called as cache and the process is known as caching. What are the three different part of RDL file elaborate them? In Visual Studio RDL files has three parts. Data, it covers the dataset on which we write the query. Dataset is associated with data source. Design. In design we can design report. We can create tables and matrix reports. We drag columns values from source. Preview, it is used to check the preview after the report run. Can you explain transfer SQL server object task? It allows us to allocate different SQL server objects between different instances of SQL server. Object in comes from table, stored procedures, user defined functions, etc. What is a ragged hierarchy? Under normal circumstances, each level in a hierarchy in Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services SSAS, has the same number of members above it as any other member at the same level. In a ragged hierarchy, the logical parent member of at least one member is not in the level immediately above the member. When this occurs, the hierarchy descends to different levels for different drill down paths. Expanding through every level for every drill down path is then unnecessarily complicated. Can you explain MOLAP? MOLAP stands for Multi Dimensional OLAP. This term designates a Cartesian data structure more specifically. In effect, MOLAP contrasts with ROLAP. In the former, joins between tables are already suitable, which enhances performances. In the latter, joins are computed during the request. Targeted at groups of users because it's a shared environment. Data is stored in an exclusive server based format. It performs more complex analysis of data. What is Report Builder? Report Builder is used to create small reports and it is a defined interface. We can't change the report interface in Report Builder at pre designed. We can just drag columns in the report. It creates reports on database objects available with Report Model Project. How to enhance the custom code in report. To enhance the custom codes in report go to report tab on top then properties and there you will find the selections for custom code. What is difference between union all and merge join? 
Merge transformation can take only two inputs whereas union all can take more than two inputs. Data has to be sorted before merge transformation whereas union all doesn't have any boundation like that. What is the different lookup cache modes available in Sys? There are basically four cache modes available in Sys lookup transformation. Full cache mode. Partial cache mode. No cache mode. Full cache mode. Explain how we can do error handling. Sys package contain mainly have two types of errors. Procedure error. It can be handled in control flow by the precedence control and redirecting the execution flow. Data error. It is handled in data flow task by redirecting the data flow using error output of a component. Can you explain analysis services information worker? The role of an analysis services information worker is the traditional domain expert role in business intelligence, by, someone who understands the data employed by a solution and is able to translate the data into business information. The role of an analysis services information worker often has one of the following job titles, business analyst, report consumer, manager, report consumer, technical trainer, help desk, operation, or network administrator. Can you explain early arriving facts? Early arriving facts sometimes get unavoidable because delay or error in dimension ETL or may be due to logical VTL. To handle early arriving facts, we can create dummy dimension with natural, business key and keep rest of the attributes as null or default. What is the need for SIS component? Analysis services is the only component in SQL Server using which we can perform analysis and forecast operations. SIS is very easy to use and interactive. Faster analysis and troubleshooting. Ability to create and manage data warehouses. Apply efficient security principles. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.